He's screaming at us. We're doing iguana removal. We got permission to be out here. We got a contract. What's going on, officer? I'm figuring you guys got contracted out to take care of these things. You guys call it into our desk that you were going to be out here or no? Hey, watch your head. It took a long one. Oh. I got to finish this one real quick. Back y'all, it's your boy the Iguana Man and we're back at y'all with another video today. We're going to be doing some pest control for invasive green iguanas with air rifles. As you guys know, we work at homeowner associations where iguanas are having a field day, tearing up everywhere, claiming territory, pooping, digging, eating every and any plant they can see. Today we are going to be using a FX Dreamline Ooh, in the 22 caliber. Now we don't know why they call it a Dreamline. But who knows, guys? It, it's, it's a dream to shoot. Oh, yeah. And it might be putting some iguanas to sleep. Is it going to do it? Stay tuned and find out on today's episode of The Iguana oh, Man. Up, wait a minute. <laughs> did, did you just see that? They're <laughs> in the back. Oh, yeah. They're going to be in the back. Yeah, buddy. Okay, y'all. Check it out. Backyard, backyard. Like I said, we got authority to be out here, y'all. Everybody's wearing vests. Okay, everybody's notified of what's going on. Like I said, this video is for educational purposes only. It's a documentary, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoy. Oh my God. There's two of them. There's two, three of them down there. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can move in on them. Nice meat. There's some right there, buddy. Hey, while we're trying to get up to this 25 yard spot for all of us. If I had my gun, I'd have done chopped on the tree and cut them down, but we're going to try to make it a little sportier. It's okay. As soon as I get to this fence face, I'm going to prop up and try to see what the drop compensation is here. Don't hit any of those birds. No, nah, I won't. Tell me when you're ready, if we'll shoot the far left one first. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, Hold on. All right, I'm ready. On three? Mm -hmm. Hold on. One, two, three. Ooh, got him. Mm, got him again. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, I see the giant. Ooh, good shot. Got him. Rolled him. Rolled him. There's a giant King Kong back there. Yeah, let's get up on it. Yeah. You sure you don't want me to take it? Go ahead, dude. Oh! Hold on, I'm going to go for the other one. Are you sure you don't want me to take it? Take one more and we'll go on the break. That's oh, it. Wow. Lights out. Hell, hell, I told you. We're doing iguana removal. We got permission to be out here. We got a contract. Yep. Where's Kong at? Perfect. How's it going guys? We're doing we're doing iguana removal. Okay? Anybody speak Spanish? Yes. Iguana removal. El removal iguana. Okay, well. Okay. 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 No, we're not gonna we're not gonna shoot across there. Yeah, you go ahead, man. I got your back. You silly. What you got? What you got? Hey, what you? What's going on, officer? I'm figuring you guys got contracted out to take care of these things, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 
That's why we're out here. Okay. <laughs> we're okay. getting calls about you guys shooting the iguanas. Give either our front desk a call okay. or the non-emergency number just to let them know like which company you're with and how long you're going to be out for. Okay. okay. Uh, like we, we, we've come so. across you guys before. It's cool. Yeah. No. And, I, and I, when I heard the call come out, I figured that's what had happened. Yeah. So no biggie. I appreciate okay. it. How okay. long are you guys going to be out for just so I can let no, our uh, another out? another hour the most. Which uh, company are you guys? Uh, Iguana Man Pest Iguana? Control it's Service. Like, uh, so. That's two, it. Two o'clock ish. Yeah. Is it one? Or, yeah. Two o'clock. We should be done. That's Probably right. even less than that. I'll let our dispatcher know that you guys will be out in this area until about two o'clock. Right. Okay. All right, guys. Appreciate take it, care. Have a good one. Hey, your, your boys are right here. Your boys are right here. Watch your head. It took a long way. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, we got a couple. Y'all want to come check it out? Come check it out. I got to finish this one real quick. Oh, look at that sucker. Yeah, they're taking out. They're they're taking over these backyards, eating everything and just claiming territory and stuff. Hey, you guys got the whole setup on these things. Yes, sir. It's oh yeah. Right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Every day, we get calls and all, but I appreciate you guys coming out. That's for wasting your time. We got y'all, and the boys are taking those off. Clocked him. I'm not gonna say who it is. I know who it is, yeah. but I'm not gonna say it's fine. Listen, because I know we we got a we have other companies like you guys. A waterfall area yeah. there. Yeah. Like I said, once I heard this come out, I figured it was gonna be one of the companies. Okay. So, you okay. Guys are straight. I All right. Thank you guys. Right, you guys be safe. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's incredible. Look, and our boys right here, they're still working, y'all. This is amazing, y'all. It seems like there's definitely uh, evolution with law enforcement out here in Florida. Oh my goodness! But we can't. We got to We got. We got to Remember, we got to recover them. It seems like there's a lot of evolution, guys, with law enforcement out here with with iguanas and stuff like that. Freaked out, and he ended up calling them, and he he insisted that they came out here. Here's another one. Oh, he just ran up. Oh, he's right there. I'm out. How's the how's the how's the dream line working? We need to shoot this in for something a little farther away. Because, it's too close. Yeah, it needs to be shooting like four mil dots low. Okay. At twenty five or two, because once they're past that perfect mark, on your back. Well, we're contracted to be out here for, from other neighbors, so we're just cleaning some up. We're gonna be gone soon though. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Uh, okay. Yep, yep, grab the back legs. Yeah. Right here. See, like that. Boom. Now he can't do anything. Do they try and bite you? No, they will. They'll try to scratch you, but their back legs are really sharp. Yeah, I got him here. He yep. can't do anything. All his power's in his back legs and he can't scratch or anything. He can't even turn around and bite me here if he wanted to. You need that? Yep. I keep forgetting the safety's backwards on this gun than mine. Down the bank. I stay up. I got the one at the top. Tell me when you're clear. Three, two. I shot the one down in the side of the bank. Oh. Yeah, that impact is so much more quieter, dude. Well, I got a moderator. We're going to see if it'll screw on to the end of yours. Okay. All right, boys, job is complete. Let's collect. Let's count up. Let's call it a day. Phew. All right. Look at this. Wow. All these iguanas. Want to give a huge shout out to everybody. Um, huge shout out to our boy Canyon right here for coming okay. through. Coming back with the backup. Helping us put these iguanas in the bag. And huge shout out to FX, y'all. They seen what I was doing on the channel with the impact. 
they ended up reaching out to me and they, they actually sent me this Dreamline right here. And I really like it guys, because it seems like it's putting these iguanas to sleep. Hence the name Dreamline. Wow, look at this beauty right here. And we got a lot of them in the back. Here shout out to our boy Andrew too with the FX Impact, making a big impact on these invasive iguana populations. Now I see why they call it the Dreamline. It puts the iguanas to sleep. To sleep. <laughs> In the back. That action right there. Really cool, really nice. As you guys can see, uh, all the boys put in work today. Huge shout out to everybody for coming out to participate on the removal of these invasive green iguanas. Florida, guys, is in a world of trouble unless we work together to bag these reptiles. Real quick, I just want to show you guys some of the specimens that we were able to recover. Come close, take a look at this. We've got a nice female. We've got more, a lot of, a lot of females. All these are feet. Look at the size of this. Whoa! Female. Look at this Sheila. Female. All of these are female. That might be a male. No, that's a. Fe They're all this females. Is a male. That's this a male, is, right? Isn't that what you talk? Yeah, yeah. That's a little male. Can you zoom in and show these guys how you showed me to tell? I'll show them on the big one. But yeah, that's all a little right. boy. That's a little girl. Female. Female. All these female. are females. This is a male. Big Sheila. But look at big male. this right here. He just couldn't handle the KC slug to the head. Jeez. That thing is huge. This has got to definitely be the biggest one that we got today. He's at least 10 pounds. And we were able to take him out, y'all, with the FX Dreamline, the FX Impact M3 shooting the KC Slugs, and the Benjamin Armada. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the big girl right there, y'all. And we get the about the break barrel. Gamma Swarm. Yeah, guys. So real quick, we're going to give you guys a quick count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Another dozen. Shoot. We just keep getting dozens and dozens of iguanas. Literally, guys, we got a dozen at the first job and we got another dozen at the second job, including the big Charizard. Look at, this. Look at this thing right here. Absolute beast of an iguana. Claiming territory, and hanging out with his females. Just for the critics, let's turn around the other side. You see that hole right there? Yep. Now let's look. Is there an exit right there? No, nope. sir. KC Slug did not exit. It expanded completely. It absorbed full shock of the foot pounds of energy it's producing. No exit means no worry about the pellets going past and hitting something behind them. Ah. That's what we want right there. Terminal force delivered, held, it couldn't handle. It. Couldn't that's handle the it. that's the objective. I mean, we want safe ethical shots and that's absolutely and even one of the neighbors called the cops on us we're not going to say who or anything like that we leave everything confidential but the cops came out here they were really cool they didn't give us a hard <laughs> they time. shook our oh. hands and thanked us for our service <laughs> and if, so. that, if that's not a gesture of, of of goodness of what we're doing out here y'all the cops coming out here and, and uh congratulating us and, and sharing us on to keep going i don't know what is y'all i'm really impressed with the evolution with the police because usually they see people out here with air rifles you know, I'm a color, a man of color. He's a man of color. These guys are Caucasian, but it doesn't matter. We, you know, they can come out here, guns drawn, ARs, gun on the ground. Oh, stop resisting. Boom, boom, boom. We're dead and that's it. But no, guys, they handled it perfectly. And it, like I said, I'm just really impressed at the evolution of law enforcement on iguana hunters, guys. So huge shout out to all you cops that are out there watching. And huge shout back out to the you. blue. Huge shout out to you. This is all for protecting the state of Florida and the red, white, and blue, y'all. Great country of the United <laughs> States of America. Also, y'all, our boy uh, right here, Andrew, he's the CEO of KC Slugs. Like I said, y'all, there's a shortage on slugs and ammunition for air rifles if you guys want. He makes them. Tell us a little bit about what you do, man. Uh, my slugs are not like the hybrids. They're not like the NSAs. They are like a uh, cross between the two. And... My slugs I'm shooting, as you see, out of this FX Impact M3 with the standard superior liner that came with the gun, made for pellets and everything else. No special slug liner, nothing. I'm shooting them at pellet speeds, the 850 to 875 on the low end. I don't shoot them over 930 because there's no need to. Anybody can shoot these slugs out of their standard pre-charged pneumatics. And that's, that's my goal, is to make an ammo that's 
cost effective mostly because some of these prices are getting just outrageous but I want to make something for everybody and that's why I came down here to test on these animals and such and so far they have performed flawlessly contact me on Facebook Andrew Kleinfelder with a K uh, or you can look me up for an email it's Andrew K 0302 at gmail.com you order the slugs I press them per order each slug is handmade one by one that's great American quality right there not made in China not made overseas you guys support an American hero and support the dream of removing all these invasive iguanas y'all make 22 caliber 25 caliber and 30 caliber slugs i make standard flat base all the way up to a shallow taper hybrid style base my slugs are handmade one by one they are not mass produced i prefer quality over quantity here y'all the results speak for themselves yeah buddy Giant alpha iguana and all his females in the bag. That's all we have for y'all today. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.